plants and animals. The central idea of biological evolution is that all life on earth shares a common ancestor. There is much evidence for the theory of evolution. Homologous and analogous organs in animals and plants are considered to be major evidence in favor of the theory of evolution. Some traits in different organisms are similar because they inherited them from a common ancestor and some similarities evolved in other ways. These are called homologies and analogies. We will look at the different characteristics and identify the homologous and analogous organs in the plants and animals we have selected. Homology Homology is similarity in structure among different organisms which is inherited from a common ancestor. Though similar in structure, the function of the structure is different in different organisms. Homology in animals in animals, all the structures are similar, they have different functions in different animals. For example, the four limbs of some animals have a similar set of bones because they derive from a common ancestor. Depending on lifestyle, these bones have different shapes and will perform different functions. For example, let's look at organs such as bat's wing, wing of birds, seal's flipper, four limb of a horse and the human arm. We can observe that although the shape and size of the bones are not similar, there is still a similarity in their structure. They have the same set of bones, humerus, radius and ulna, carpals and metacarpals. Humans use the hand for grasping and doing work. Seals use flippers for swimming and bats and birds use their wings for flight. The horse uses its forelimbs for running. Homology in plants In plants as well as animals, we can also observe homologous structure. In some plants like pea and barberry, the leaves show a different function and shape from the leaves we normally see. The tendrils of the pea plant and spines of barberry plant are homologous organs showing different functions. The tendril of a pea is a modified leaf and is used for providing mechanical support for the plant. In the case of barberry, the leaves are modified into spines and are meant for protection. The tendril of a pea and spine of barberry originated from leaves, so they are homologous organs in plants but have different functions. Analogy Analogy is a similarity in function in different organisms due to evolution. That is, species may also have similar traits even though they are not related to each other. This usually results because the species live in similar environments, fill similar ecological roles and through natural selection the same type of structure is favored in different ancestors. The structures in this case are known as analogous structures. Analogy in Animals an example of an analogous trait in an animal would be the wings of insects, feathers of birds and wings of bats which have common functions but different origins. The wings of an insect originated from the inner or outer surface of the insect's body. Feathers of birds originated from the forelimbs and wings of bats originated from both the forelimb and membranous skin of the abdomen. Analogy in Plants Take a look at the leaves of Upantia and people plant. In the Upantia, the stem is modified into a broad succulent leaf-like structure which will perform photosynthesis in the same way as leaves. The people leaf is a normal leaf which will also perform photosynthesis. So both Upantia and people leaves perform the common function of photosynthesis but have different structures. Therefore, they are analogous organs in plants. In the case of potato and sweet potato, we can observe that they have similar characteristics but different origins. The potato is a modified underground stem which is meant for storage of food. It has eyes which represent nodes. Sweet potato is a modified underground root which is also meant for storage of food. It has root hairs. Here are the main points you should know about homologous and analogous structures.